about seven years ago when we had 10,000 people tuned in concurrently online from all over the world watching some of the Intellect Stream Masters matches, we were very pleased. This March in Katowice in Poland for the Intellect Stream Masters World Championship, we had that many people at one time in a stadium staring at the stage watching these guys play for the championship and a million people concurrent watching the final online. This is just insane growth and it's not stopping. To be an esports athlete is like a dream come true. I mean, uh, me and my friends, we all grew up playing video games. Uh, I never really envisioned the time in my life when I would be able to do it as a job, get paid for it, get to travel the world. Sometimes I'll be training maybe 80 hours a week. Uh, it's, 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 it's hard to determine because you're basically playing at every opportunity that you have. My dad and my uncle are coming out to watch it, so they're really excited to see me play because you know they don't get a chance to do that in person too often. Being a professional esport athlete is a huge deal in my life. It affects almost every aspect where I live right now in Korea because of it. Where my friends are like all the other esports athletes, people run events, stuff like that. Um, and what I do, I get to travel everywhere. It's really exciting. If I'm in Korea, I'll practice almost every day, like six hours maybe a day. And sometimes, like actually at this tournament, I just came back from Korea. I was really busy. I was really tired from traveling. So I took a few days off, and I only played yesterday or two days ago. So I took a bit more relaxed this time, but most of the time you're playing like every day for six hours at least. Also, as a professional gamer, you want to go to as many tournaments as possible most of the time, so try and qualify for everything.